Welcome back, amazing freedom fighters and lovers of freedom all over the world, the Biafrans, Oduduwa, Middle Beltans, and Dambazonia. My old subscribers, my new subscribers, and those who are watching without subscription, you guys are amazing. God bless every one of you. On this channel, we give you the tips of what to expect in the video we're about to play, and we sit down, we watch it with you. On this very particular one, we are talking about the Benin City and Imo State Youth Leaders. There is a message from our sister, Mara Jehovah, to these two leaders that they should get their act together and to correct the mistake of the past or else it may cost them something. This message was, I think, around a month or two months ago. What I saw in the internet is not impressive. Even if that these people are no more. I would like this message to be related to the current ones so that they will do the need for, especially when the message is coming to African men from a woman. They always look down on the person. Take the message, forget about the messenger. Imo State Youth Leader and Benicity Youth Leader. I use their city because I'm not too sure if what I'm seeing in the internet is correct or not that's why i use the cities please i am pleading with you guys when god is warning a city a nation group of people or entire there is a reason god do not do something without informing his servant and these are the sources god used to message to the masses but the thing is that do we have the ear to listen and to comprehend like I said, take the message, forget about the messenger. My brothers and sisters, what I saw in the internet when I was making this rituals is very dangerous. That is why you need to convey the message to whosoever is sitting in the powers of youth leader in Imo State and youth leader in Benin State. Mazenam the Kano shall be out to declare Biafra for you and I, he say. Agape lover, sorry, my baby, Ojo onye morugi Agape lover na gegi hoa na ko Odi akba siri Iye masi ya boti isi eme Iye di ama boti isi biri Iye di uto bonyi ya mara chine ke nyeregi Obo ya masri ya Bia bawara meko ilunaya. Thus says the Lord of hosts. God said I should tell the leader, the youth leader of Imo State, that he gave you that seat for you to correct the error that was made for three years ago that he wants you to take up your armor your weapons of peace and correction to go and correct all the evil going on in Imo states especially Oweri that he wants you to stop the children that are polluting the land that after stopping them those that want to walk that you should give them what to do that you have contacts you have connections that you can fix many of those children that are polluting the land and God said, I should also tell the new leader, the youth leader of a place called Benin, that he wants you to stop all those children that are doing wrongs, polluting the land. Benin is a spirit and spiritual kingdom that God made to be sacred. But calamity of Babylon woman 
have polluted the land of Benin, the land of Imo State. And God said, the mother earth complained to him what is happening in the land. That if the youth leader of Benin and Imo State, Oweri, did not tackle this, he will be angry with them and the anger will reach to their generation fought unborn. And God said, I should tell all the people that are doing spiritual assignment that he wants you to communicate with him that there is something he will tell you to do for the land to be okay again. Failure to do so, there is going to be death of women, girls in Benin and Imo State over it precisely. Remember, I am the God that speaks at Jerusalem and it happened at Companion. I am the God of all principalities and powers, all rulers of darkness and rulers of light. I am Jehovah. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Amen. Praise God. You know, I have never opened my mouth for wonder and tell anybody that God said, no matter how people make mockery, scold me, at the end, it will come to pass. Igbo states have been so good to me. The uniform I'm using in my group, an Imo state lady bought it for me. And she said, always pray for my state. That is why I always pray for the state. And whatever God said, I will say it. When I told them that problem will start, that if what they said I say is lie, that nothing will happen. But if it's true, that God said there is going to be a terrible problem in the land of Igbo, that he wants to show people that Igbo is second Israelite. A lot of people said I was lying. Me going around preaching is my destiny to the world of men, as Chuku Okike sent me. For years now, I have not opened my mouth and tell people that God said, no matter what, it must come to pass. I love Igbos. I love Yorubas. I love Aosa. I love Efik. I love everybody. Let love lead. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If the video interests you, please share.